All right, what's going on? Now today's video will be about Active Directory penetration testing. This video will be part of a series of videos uh, that will be that in, in, in these videos we'll be talking about Active Directory penetration testing. Now, if you don't know what is Active Directory, uh, I don't think this is the correct place for you. So there are a lot and bunch of internet, a uh, bunch of videos on the internet about using Active Directory to administer computers and users on your network. If you know and have worked with Active Directory, then this video could be useful for you if, gonna step, if you are stepping your game to cybersecurity. Now, one part of your penetration testing you may encounter, uh, one, of your, one of your clients could be a client where uh, they have um, Active Directory installed on their network. So basically here, what we want to do, we want to try, we want, we want to test the, uh, the, the level of security of the Active Directory, right? So basically, any Active Directory consists of domain controller and domain users. So depending on the scenario you are in, maybe you have access, you have gained access to a Windows client that is part of the domain controller. If you're lucky, you may have access and compromise the domain controller. Now, in this video, we're going to be we're going to do enumeration. All right, we're going to learn how to do enumeration uh, to find what are the users on the current Active Directory structure, the admin users, information about the groups, how to enumerate the whole structure. Right, so you can leverage this information and uh, further your attack. Uh, for this lesson, I found a script from Offensive Security. If you uh, have enrolled in Offensive Security, one of the Offensive Security courses, they talked about Active Directory penetration testing, and what caught my eye is this script. This script uh, has been made by Offensive Security team, thanks to their efforts. This script uh, will do the automation of enumerating users, groups, members, all the information, all the hierarchy in the Active Directory system once you have gained access to a Windows that is connected or that is part of the domain controller. Instead of uh, you know grappling and wrestling around with tools and PowerShell CMD lets, these guys have gathered all everything in one script. And we're gonna talk about other scripts, of course, they have used. Uh, so for your information, this video is part of offensive security training. All right, it is not official training, but the information laid down in this video are uh, taken from offensive security training. All right, okay. This is disclaimer. Okay, now what is my what is my mission here? I'm gonna explain the script to you guys and how you can use that script. All right, to enumerate an Active Directory system. Prerequisite. Prerequisite of uh, using the script, you need uh, to have access to a client, Windows client that is part of domain controller. Don't run the script on a Windows client that is not connected to domain controller. All right. All right. So this script, guys, we're going to try variations of the script to enumerate uh, the users, the groups, and members. But first, we need to explain to you guys every single line of the script. All right. So basically, guys, as you know, in Active Directory, we have, let's put CMD. OK. So in Active Directory here, you know, we can use the a tool called NetUser, right? So in NetUser, we have the administrator, guest, uh, guest, OK. NetUser domain will tell you all the users on this uh, Active Directory, right? I'm going to leave that because the information is kind of confidential. Jesus. OK, so what do we need now? We need the first line of this script. The first line gets the current domain, which means that this, this uh, line here gets you the host name, the domain controller, and the domain name of the current Active Directory, all right? this is a very important and very necessary for the script to work. So basic, basically, the script, I mean, will center around a very specific LDAP provider path. So provider path, which will be uh, invocated and retrieved from this line. It will retrieve the provider path 
And on the next line, we will build that pro provider path. The provider path in Active Directory is a path that contains the host name, the domain name, and the domain controller. So in order to search and enumerate the domain controller, we need every all the information that are part of this domain controller, like the domain controller name, the uh, primary domain controller, and the provider path. So now, after that, search string here, we are still building the provider path. Now, this distinguished name is also part of the provider path of Active Directory. So basically, from line one all the way to line five, we are building the provider path of the current Active Directory we are enumerating. With this provider path, we will be able to conduct our search and look up all the available users, groups, and members. Now, in the script here, the domain, we have something here, the domain object, guys. As I told you, we'll store the entire domain object. All right. And I'm going to repeat again. The PTC will store the name of the primary domain controller. And the search strings will build the provider path for the output. Now, notice that the distinguished name, okay, will consist of our domain name, as you can see, and where, where it's broken down into individual domain components. The components are, you see, DC is part of these components. Making the distinguished name kind of, you know, DC, DC, some, something like that. Now, after that, we need to build something go the directory searcher. So from here, these Commands are part, or these lines are part of something called the directory searcher. Now, the directory searcher class, we need to specify something called a search root, which is the node in the Active Directory hierarchy where searches start. So, after we have built the provider path and the distinguished names, we need to build the uh, components of the directory searcher, which will um, ingest all of the information we have provided from here, all right? Use that information, instantiate the directory researcher and its components to provide you with the results. Now, we have talked about something called the search root. So basically the search root from here, as you can see, takes the form of an object, which is instantiated from the directory entry, all right? So when no arguments are passed to the constructor, like in the command line, no arguments are passed, the search root, this one, will indicate that every search should return results from the entire Active Directory. So this means this will spill, uh, spit out every single detail in the current Active Directory system. So the output will be kind of overwhelming or will contain so much information. We're going to use the filter functionality here to control the output. <clears throat> now, as you can see here, we ha I have set up a filter, or the guys in OSCB set up a filter called same account type. The same account type guys, it is attribute, which is, you know, kind of connected to all, it is attribute of all users, computers, and a group in the system. So it means that every user, every directory, every object, every computer, everything that is connected to Active Directory has the SAM account type as an attribute. And the value is this one. So here I am saying to the script, search the Active Directory, all right, for all information about users, members, and their groups by sending up this filter and find all We'll find all the information, as you can see. Now, if I save that, and I go back, run that, as you can see here, I got all the information about the users, the groups they are part of, and the domain controller. So the first user is administrator, as you can see, and it is also part of users. And this one is admin alternative. It is part of organizational unit, as you can see. And here are the domain controller information. So here I get the information about users, the groups, not the groups, users and 
the uh, organization units they are part of. So I can use that search actually and tune uh, my script to provide, I mean, more details about every single user. So from here, we need to pick up one user and cultivate our script to find more details about that user, right? So after that, we need to motivate, motiv sorry, motive, uh, sorry, not motivate, modify our script a bit. Let's say, let's go back. And from here, we can keep everything the same. Let's say we want to print, we have printed everything about the users and their organizational units. Now, we want to see the properties of each member. You know, in Active Directory, every user has a property. The pro properties, sorry, the properties are like the username, the name, the, uh, the country, all of the details that are part of the user's properties. Now, so I'm going to take it from the script and paste it here. So this will print the object properties, right? The object here is the users or the and, and the organization units. So this, if I use that, it will print me the output of uh, the users and their properties. Now the output will be kind of overwhelming because it's going to contain too much details. And as during your test, it's not going to be feasible to spend uh, time, you know, looking through all of these uh, information or details. Now, one way to do that, one way to filter our results, guys, is we need to modify this. So in the filter, instead of SAM account type, we can type any property we desire to get information about, right? Uh, sorry, we, we can type any uh, property, all right, of the current user from which we will get the information about their property. So here, let's say name where name the filter name equal, let's say administrator. Here I am telling the script that print all the information about uh, all the property information about that user. It's gonna spit out the properties of this user. Let's see what, what happens. So here. So here are the properties of the user administrator, login count, code page, whatsoever. Now, next thing guys, after we obtain the information about users and the organizational units, we can do some more filtering on this. Now, after we found information about the users, we need to find more information about the groups. So groups is very important part about in the Active Directory system, sorry. So in the filter here, I can, we can replace that. And then we put, object class equal group. So this way, I will be displaying information about the groups. And we need also to modify the for, the for loop over here, right? So instead of that, instead of displaying the properties, you know, groups, it's not, uh, you know, it's not, doesn't make sense actually. So we will delete that, and as per the script from Offensive Security, we'll do that. So this one here, it will display, as you can see, properties.name. So if I run this script, let's try it, what's the output of this? Well, let me clear first. Okay, so here I have the, uh, e oh, okay, sorry. So you see here the groups and the properties. So now I get, we have got the information about the groups. We have enumerated the groups. Now, after you have enumerated the groups, guys, you can pick up specific groups, a specific group, sorry, and then 
find who are the members of this group, right? Part of enumeration actually you need to find the every member of every group. So let's go back, and from here we will remodify that, and we will put name. We are interested to find all the members in in, in real world environment. You are interested to find everything that is connected to the administrator. So we're going to pick up the group administrators, right? And then we're going to, instead of name, we're going to modify this and type member, which means that we are printing the all members who are part of the administrator's group. So we save that. We clear. I don't think I got this right. Let's go back. So name equal administrators. OK. Filter, find all. Properties. OK. One user. I remember I have more than one user, actually. So I might have done something wrong. So this one is a variable that should be like here. Because I'm querying the result variable and I don't have it. So save. All right. So here I get all the info about the admins. I'm going to switch back quickly. But here with this, you can get the details about the admin users that are part of this group. So actually now, by now guys, we have enumerated the current users okay, of the Active Directory. We have determined who are the admins, all right? We have listed all the groups on the system uh, of Active Directory, and then we have gained insights about the uh, insights about you know the groups and who are the members of the administrators group this information are very valuable all right to further down in to, to enrich your you know testing further down the road so basically in the next video guys we're going to do more uh testing on active directory I hope this one. I hope this was some kind of helpful. And if you have any question, just post that in the comment box. Thank you so much.